back to the album. Um, uh, so you work with Sharon. Am I missing anybody else? Uh, Alaska and Ginger. All right, Alaska and Ginger. What's that song again? All This Body. All This Body. Yes, All This Body. And like, it's my way to, not just for big girls, but I also like people to just love that the skin that they're in. Like, these uh -huh. are your bodies, no matter how, what shape you are. You just, just love it. It's not, it's not rocket science, mm -hmm. you know? So I just wanted people to like start loving on themselves more. Now, are you feeling more love for yourself now that you're fully becoming the woman you always wanted to be? Are you falling back into your body more? I feel like that's why, like, with this album, I learned also that I had, my confidence is different now uh -huh. than I was a few years ago. Um, even getting on Drag Race, my demeanor and my confidence wasn't the, as it is now. Like, back then, it was like, I'm telling myself mm -hmm. that you are worth it, you're good enough, but it's still kind of like a question. Right. But now, I feel like I'm not questioning it. I am worth it. I am all that, and a bag of chips. Yes. You know what I mean? So like, <laughs> like that's just how I feel now. Like it's now it's like the knowing and the understanding of you are that woman. You are the woman who you're meant to be. And it feels amazing that I, I don't know, it's just weird. Like my, my family, all the women in my family told me like after you hit 35, mm -hmm. things start to make sense and wow. everything is, will fall into place. And I feel now that at 37, it's just like, wow, my aunts were so right. Like, everything is making sense. Everything is like, okay, I get it now. So that's why I feel different about this album because I feel like they got to, they met the girl on Drag Race, but with my album, you're meeting the woman from Drag Race. Wow. So that's what I. What else did you want to get across on this album that you felt like maybe people didn't really know about you? That I am, I am a lot more sexually liberated than people like would assume or. Uh, Jiggly, <laughs> I'd like you to know that everybody knew you were sexually liberated already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Keep going. <laughs> but it was different, like you know, like um, I didn't. I think own my sexuality until up until recently where oh, really? like, I feel like, you know, it's my, it's my body, how I want to do things are my way. I'm going to be, you know, I have not going to apologize because I want to have sex. I, I, you know, like I, it's, it's not that every not, I'm not like every girl that's like the whole Prince Charming and all that. Yes, that's great. Uh huh. But we live in reality, you know, and that sometimes the princes aren't a prince. They're really just, you want to sleep with the pirate and... <laughs> sometimes the prince is the boy and the pirate's the keeper. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes! <laughs> yeah, I like it. And I was just like, oh, boy, oh, God, that song. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to get into more deep on these tracks with Jiggly Kelly and from Thought Process, which is available now on iTunes, Sunny. So why don't you go to iTunes? And while you're there, why don't you pick up a Johnny McGovern album, an Erica album, and a Lady Red album, and you'll be snatched. <laughs> Make sure to follow A Queen on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Christian Mingle, Snapchat, and all those other things T.S. mentioned, Madison. T.S. Madison mentioned at the beginning of everything. All right, we'll see you in a minute. We'll be back with more Jiggly right after this. <laughs> Love celebrity gossip and Hollywood shade. Of course you do. <laughs> Subscribe to our brand new podcast, Hot Tea with Johnny and Lady Red. We read all the tabloids so you don't have to. I'm talking about Star, In Touch, Life and Style, National Enquirer, National Inquisitor. I mean, all the nationals. <laughs> Subscribe to Hot Tea with Johnny and Lady Red now. <laughs> we are back with Jiggly Caliente. Hi. Honey, the thought process is on iTunes right now. Yeah. Um, and you were saying to me in the break that there was a thought process to go to with the thought, thought process. process. Yeah. Like every song I wanted, like in with videos too, like I wanted everything to make sense and blend 
Uh -huh. I kind of want to Beyonce this album out, but it's yeah. With I, a video for every song. Yeah, like, I, yeah but I. But can't, then I, you're like, I'd like to make a profit on this yeah, album. No. <laughs> but you I, have I'm some, not making out money. Like you that. have some great videos. You did uh, <laughs> Boy. That was yeah. the first single. And now that was when we were. You were looking for. You called me up. You were like, Do you know any Asian go go boys? <laughs> And I was like, ooh, this guy, I don't know if I do, actually. Now, you obviously found some very hot Asian guys for the video. Yeah. Tell me about making that and why it was important for you to have an all-Asian cast of guys. I wanted an all-Asian cast because I wanted visibility for my community. I yeah. am very proud. I am a very proud Asian woman. I mean, a Pacific Islander or whatever, like, umbrella I fall under. But I am Asian, of Asian descent. So I wanted to have to showcase that, and mainly Asian guys, because I feel like a lot of times, like, the, you know, obviously there's like Brad Pitt's and Channing Tatum's and all that, and like Idris Elba, all these be beautiful men, but they never show a handsome Asian man, you know, that there it's are, true. there's a lot of them out there. <laughs> yes, there so are. So I was like, <laughs> hello, I wanted to showcase that in my video, so I think I covered the, the, the spectrum of um, Pacific Islander, maybe Thai or Chinese, and then obviously my Korean boy, Juno, uh -huh. the lead guy. He's so. very sexy. He is sexy. There were a lot of, though, I thought all the guys all in there were really hot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is shooting a video, and uh -huh. even what's the process of recording like with Sharon? So Sharon also, first of all, Sharon has never rapped before. Uh -huh. So Sharon was like, I don't know if I could do this. I was like, bitch, you could do this. And she was like, I don't think that makes sense. Then I showed Sharon um, a music video of Methods of Mayhem, uh, Tommy Lee and Lil' Kim and yeah. Fred Durst. I was like, this, girl, this is what we're doing. You're the rock, I'm rap. It's going to make sense, mm -hmm. girl. And, like, she got it. And Sharon was always, like, shooting when we were shooting the video. She was like, am I hood enough? I go, bitch, just be you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to, you're not, don't be anybody else but you. Right. So I was like, act and flow how you would with the song. Mm-hmm. And she found her little hip hop bitch. Let me see that. You saw she was like, hey. I was like, yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> she was like, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Well, congrats on the album. It's really Thank great. You. I was listening to it all day. Me and Lady Red were bopping to it in the car, having some fun. Oh, what's wow. next? What are you? What are you? What's your dreams for the next year? What I really want to do is I'm saving my money. I want to buy the franchise of Drag Race and bring it to the Philippines. Yes! Yeah. Oh my God! Now that would be amazing. I would love to do that because like now that there's Drag Race Thailand, yeah. and Switch in Chile, I was like, okay, the franchise is growing. You know what? I was like, I want to do this in the Philippines because the drag in the Philippines is so amazing, and I feel like um, the girls could benefit really much from it. Wow! So it would be sick. I kind of how much yeah. do you think that costs to get sure, the franchise? Probably as much as I win. So I'm like, uh, sure. shit. I need to probably try to get on all stars. So you got to get on all stars four and win. and win. So you can just be like, don't get, don't, don't take this check. check. Just give me the franchise for free. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, can we trade off on that? <laughs> I think RuPaul, like Jaylee's laying down the gauntlet. She wants to do a, a money order type situation. <laughs> you don't need to go to the check casher. She's ready. You, go. Just keep, you can keep the check. Keep the check. Just give me the franchise. <laughs> well, honey, we'll be crossing our fingers for that. We'd love to see that. <laughs> honey, I'm so happy to have you on the show. You always thank turn you. it so fiercely. Congratulations on the album. Thank you, thank you. You really are doing it. I remember when that time we used to do that Missy Elliott show back in New York and the puffy thing. You were just oh, with the garbage young, bags. With yeah. the garbage bags and just a young baby dragging it out. Look at you. Thank a you. beautiful woman pop star slaying the game. I love you. Thank you. And honey, You've turned it so fiercely. You snatched the trophy, honey! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> ah. Ah. And you know what, sweetie? We know what you like, so you also won yourself a lap dance! Yeah, okay, here we go. Uh huh. Now get all you want, sweetie. This is all for you. Uh, 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 uh. Uh huh. Okay, and work it up. And come on, impress her, oh. Traylino. She's seen a lot of ass, so I need you to work hard to make it good. Do whatever you want, Jackley. <laughs> uh, she's like an ass. I only want dick. <laughs> lady Red, take us out with a black lady screaming. She's
gonna stick around and look at all those queens that you make sure you wanna tune in for that. Thank you, Lady Red. Yes, thank you, Erica Tor Aviance. And most importantly, thank you to Jiggly. Love you, sweetie. Yeah. And thank all of you. We'll see you next time on Hey Queen. Bye, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.